Time now for Table Talk as we welcome in John Harper and Chris Lepresti. All right, fellas, everyone can breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> we can have peace between Sal and Frank the Tank. Oh, is wow. a, a revival for the lineup after those two rough days against Atlanta. Chris, how was the length of this Mets lineup on display Monday night? Yeah, I mean, you saw it up and down, and I felt like it was a much different vibe and approach. Even in the games they won against Atlanta, Homer happy, a lot of strikeouts. This was, as Carlos Mendoza just alluded to, good at bats, balls in play, bottom third of the order, McNeil and Terenzer driving in three apiece and they weren't relying on the home run. Alonso has the big fly there in that big inning but other than that a lot of moving guys singles they mixed in some doubles some extra base hits along the way and filtered throughout one through nine so nice to see you know some complimentary baseball there from the offense. Yeah we've seen a deeper lineup since McNeil's got going and I think it's crucial that Alonzo he, he got the home run to get him started I think it's crucial he gets hot here but I think more than anything they were saying to David Stearns hey we'll give you one last push here toward the trade yeah. deadline if you don't think we can do it if you don't think we're worth it here we'll score whatever they end up scoring <laughs> and, uh, go, yeah, 15. <laughs> and go get us some help on the pitching department mostly but uh, this offense look they, they didn't look good again the last couple days, as you said, but they, they have come a long way since the beginning of the year. All right, the pitching didn't look like they needed help in this one as Jose Quintana picks up his sixth win of the season to finish off a dominant July. As you see, he had plenty of support from the offense there up and down the lineup, but opponents hit just 176 off him in five July starts. Hart, what was the key to his success this month? Well, wait, he's just been... Uh, his command has been impeccable. That's the key for him. He, he's getting, you know, you saw him with the curveball tonight. He can't overpower guys. We've seen it early in the year. He was having trouble. He was leaving balls in the middle of the play. When he does that, he's going to get hit. But when he's sharp, he can be really good as he was tonight. I just, I just think if this team's going anywhere, though, they need more pitching. I think they need another starter now, even more than bullpen, because once Senga went, I was, I was counting on Senga to come back and be that top of the rotation guy. They don't have that now. If Snell is really out there and available, I think they should try and go get him. Totally agree. Definitely could use some help in the rotation. I mean, when I look at Quintana, this stage of his career and the type of pitcher that he's been for most of his career, he is effective. Obviously, when he's right, hard hit on and command is key for him because he's not going to overpower you in this day of velocity and max effort, max velo. He's not that kind of guy. So he really kind of projects more as a middle of the rotation guy, which the last couple of seasons when he's been healthy, they've kind of relied on him a little bit more uh, than, than what probably we would have expected. So this last month is a good display of when things are going right, how effective he can be. Definitely the curveball in this one against an aggressive Minnesota team that was looking to jump him early in the count. So veteran savvy, veteran presence when he's got a good feel and good command for his stuff, can still miss bats and get enough outs to be effective.